The coronavirus has hit Governor Andy Bashir's family. The governor's 12-year-old son, Will, recently tested positive for COVID-19. Bashir said his son has a mild case of the virus, and the rest of the family has so far all tested negative. All members of the Bashir family have been vaccinated. Uh, it, it, a little scary uh, when one of your kids uh, tests positive, but I have been watching <laughs> this for two years, uh, living in it in real time, and no, especially uh, with younger adults, but for that matter, my age and, and all the way down, if you're vaccinated and boosted, Omicron isn't going to make you very sick at all. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. As a result, Governor Bashir gave a remote update on Western Kentucky tornado recovery efforts from the governor's mansion on Monday, while Public Health Commissioner Dr. Stephen Stack gave the COVID update from the Capitol. Dr. Stack pointed to some encouraging trends that indicate the Omicron variant may be nearing a peak and a subsequent decline. He also noted that while hospitalizations remain high, the need for ICU beds and ventilators is less than in previous surges. However, Dr. Stack said one problem hospitals now face is staffing. We're running out of healthcare workers. And so there's a lot of beds in hospitals and there's a lot of ventilators and a lot of other equipment but not a lot of people to operate all this stuff. And uh, as a more than 20 year practicing emergency physician, let me just assure you, you need the people. The machines don't do any good without the people. But Dr. Stack says he remains optimistic that better times lay ahead later this year.